this video is for students of economics and in this video you will learn two types of goods normal goods and inferior goods and you will learn how income affects demand but first let's recall what demand is the demand is a downward sloping line that shows how prices affect quantities quantities that buyers buy in economics they are called quantities demanded and now we have a problem because our video is about income and the graph doesn't show income it shows prices that is why every time income changes we have to shift the entire demand curve when demand rises the demand curve shifts to the right and when demand falls, the demand curve shifts to the left. How does income affect demand? Imagine that you won a lottery. You are rich. What will happen to your demand, demand for goods and services? When I ask my students this question, they often say that the demand would go up, that if you are richer, you would buy more of goods and services. But will you? Are you sure that you will buy more of everything if you are richer? If you are richer, are you going to buy more of spam? Or would you buy more of Mr. Noodles? Are you going to say, yes, I am rich. I am going to buy Mr. Noodles every day. Or are you going to buy more of No Name Tea? Probably not. Probably these are the types of goods you will buy less of. Less of no-name tea, less of spam, less of Mr. Noodles. But will you buy more of fancy chocolate? Will you buy more of fancy shoes? Or will you buy more of uh, orange juice? Probably yes, probably. If your income goes up and you are richer, you would buy more of good chocolate, more of fancy shoes, more of orange juice. In economics, we have two types of goods. We call them normal goods and inferior goods. So that if your income goes up, you are richer, you will buy more of normal goods, but less of inferior goods. And similar, if your income falls, you are poorer, you will buy more of inferior goods and you will buy less of normal goods. This is the definition of normal goods. When income rises, demand for normal goods rises and the demand curve shifts to the right. And when income falls, demand for normal goods falls and the demand curve shifts to the left. And this is the definition of inferior goods. When income rises, demand falls. And when income falls, demand rises. People believe that normal goods are good. Goods are good. And inferior goods are bad. What is normal anyway? What is normal? What is abnormal? Who knows? No, in economics we don't judge. We don't judge goods and services. Normal goods and inferior goods have strict mathematical definitions. If income and demand both rise, or both fall, that's a normal good. And if income and demand move in opposite direction, income rises and demand falls, or income falls and demand rises, that's an inferior good. Look at this problem. Assume that potatoes are inferior goods. What will happen to prices and quantities of potatoes if consumer incomes fall and drought damages crops. Now, this question has two events, therefore we'll have two shifts. The supply curve will shift and the demand curve will shift. First event, consumer income falls. 
because potatoes are inferior goods when incomes fall, the demand for potatoes rises and the demand curve shifts to the right. Second event, drought damages crops. This event will damage supply. The supply will fall and the supply curve will shift to the left. The market moves from point A to the new equilibrium point B. And as it moves from A to B, the price rises and the effect on quantity is unclear. This was my video about normal and inferior goods. If you think that this video was normal, put a like. If you think my video was inferior, put a dislike. Thank you for watching and have a happy learning of economics.